welcome back to an introductory course on ground support equipment in this lecture we will learn about the equipment responsible for fueling and defueling of the aircraft we will begin by discussing the aircraft fuel capacity then the concept of the fuel farming we will also discuss the fueling methods followed by fueling equipment and finally i shall conclude the lecture with aircraft fuel storage so aircraft jet engine consumes a huge amount of fuel let us take a look at the fueling capacity of different aircraft a narrow body aircraft such as an airbus a320 can hold 23000 liters of jet fuel and can hold on to a continuous flight of up to 7 to 8 hours whereas a wide body aircraft like boeing 777 can hold 150000 liters and an a320 can hold 3 lakh liters of jet fuel for up to more than 17 hours of flight the fueling equipment is used to refuel the aircraft and prepare them for the next flight aircraft refueling does not work as an automobile so before discussing the fueling equipment let us discuss an important concept of fuel farm jet fuel is produced by an oil refinery that is located far from the airport or even the city especially in the industrial areas jet fuel is transported to the aircraft and stored at a dedicated place called a fuel farm all the aircraft arriving at the airport get their fuel from this farm a fuel farm is simply a facility for the storage of jet fuel there are large storage tanks which are equipped with an allied systems required for maintaining and controlling the fuel quantity safety systems are also provided to prevent any accidents now there are two ways in which a refueling is carried out a refueler truck filled with the fuel in its tank is transported to the aircraft from the fuel farm in this method the tanker is equipped with the pumping systems to transfer the fuel to the aircraft tanks the other method which is common at most modern airports is an underground fuel supply line here a fuel hydrant dispenser is used to transfer the fuel to the aircraft this fuel hydrant dispenser does not carry the fuel for itself instead it carries the necessary equipment for transferring fuel from the underground supply line to the aircraft tanks the hydrant dispenser also does not consist of any pumping mechanism to pump the fuel to the aircraft everything is attached to the underground supply line where the fuel is kept under some pressure the hydrant just monitor filters and meters the fuel flow from the aircraft line to the aircraft so let us compare the refueling truck and the hydrant dispenser well a refueling truck may cost low in an airport development while the dispenser may cost much to the airlines there may be a lot of movement on the apron using a refueling truck whereas this movement reduces when using the hydrant dispenser the transport cost of the truck is higher while the hydrant has low transportation cost and lastly there may be a high risk of hazards when using the truck due to its continuous movement to different aircraft when they land while the use of hydrant reduces the risk of the hazards due to their movement every aircraft stand is fitted with a hydrant pit system which is designed for a safe fuel outlet for the dispenser to connect it must have water ingress protection corrosion protection dust protection and also icing protection similar to as gpu and pca pit systems now an important question arises why do aircraft fueling takes place through its wings it is so because aircraft stores its fuels in its wings now you will be wondering why an aircraft fuel is stored in its wing the answer is simple it is because of the two reasons number 1 wings are hollow from the inside and hollow wings may vibrate during the flight the wing design is very much suitable in exploiting the available space hence the manufacturers made the use of this space secondly its truss structure makes it possible to carry any liquid fuel tanks are built in the wings because it contemplates the baffle plate analogy which is the generation of large fluid waves on movement it also contributes to the stability of the aircraft and maintain a uniform center of gravity during the flight therefore the weight of the fuel may also contribute in making the aircraft aerodynamically stable now let us take a look at the fueling procedure aircrafts are fueled in two ways gravity fueling and pressure fueling these methods of fueling are also known as overwing or underwing refueling 
Another interesting fact is that the fuel quantity is measured in terms of weight instead of liters or gallons. The refueling equipment operator converts the weight into volume and feeds the same information into the hydrant dispenser panel. With this, I will conclude this lecture here. See you all in the next lecture.